In our next story, the Ministry of Health has secured funding for the construction of a three-story training complex for the Paramedic and Emergency Care Training School in the Ashanti region. Deputy Minister Tina Mensah says the project will improve the school's infrastructure. She spoke after seeing the passing out of 525 emergency medical technicians, basic of the National Ambulance Service. <laughs> The 525 passed out as emergency medical technicians comprising 257 drivers and 268 non-drivers after successfully completing a one-year intensive training program in emergency medical services. The 12th batch, who have acquired various emergency medical services skills, will be handling medical emergencies ranging from road traffic crashes to labor and cardiac arrest, among others. They were taken through bleeding control, positive pressure ventilation with a bag valve max, oxygen administration and full spinal immobilization training. The new graduates of the paramedic and emergency care training school are to the 2033 Ghanaians granted financial clearance for recruitment into the National Ambulance Service to contain the growing numbers of the school. Deputy Minister of Health Tina Mensa has reviewed plans to uplift infrastructural facilities. National Ambulance Service is now full-fledged an emergency under my ministry following the passage of the National Ambulance Bill into law and the subsequent formation of the National Ambulance Governing Board. In relation to infrastructural improvement of the school, I am happy to announce that my ministry has secured funding for the construction of a three-story training complex, which construction will start as soon as the necessary procurement processes are over. Equally, I'm happy to mention that the board chair, Nana Yafi Abebu, has also secured the necessary support from the Middle Bank Authority to construct a new dining hall for the school. Acting President of the Offensive Traditional Council, Nana Kwekudria II, is urging government to elevate the paramedic school to meet international standards. The decision of citing paramedic and emergency care training school here to produce the country's paramedics was a perfect one. And I will encourage the government to do well to expand and develop the school. Honorable Minister, Deputy Ministers, and other government functions present, PECTS needs a facelift. This is the only training school that turns out our paramedics. And that is why we are calling for your support to build the school to international standards. Chairman of the Governing Board of the National Ambulance Service, Nana Wiafe Abebu, advised the EMTs to uphold professionalism. Likewise, as you step into this demanding profession, share your common knowledge across the nation. You are the frontline heroes, and society places immense trust in you. Approach your abilities and professionalism, empathy, and unwavering commitment to excellence. Our nation faces challenges, but I have faith in your abilities. Reporting for Joe News Clinton, Yeboah.